Well, there's two things here. Let me start off by saying, you got to listen to me when I'm telling you about who LeBron this, is and what this, that is, though, Richard. Mm. Just being honest I, with you. I, I listen. Okay. But that now, is... now... Wait, did you predict this? No, no. Oh, just okay. a, just no, the no. ability to move pieces around okay. because of Clutch and Rich Paul. Now, let me dive deeper into it. Ramona Shelburne or Momo, if you're getting anything from her, you might as well be getting it from Jeannie Buss because that's essentially <coughs> the Jeannie Buss. I mean, that's essentially oh, what, what's going on there. Yeah. So that report is 100% factual. No, well, that, there's no good. question. There is no this or that. Now, when you start talking about the Golden State Warriors in their situation, Draymond Green was the one intervening in the communication, so to speak. Hey, let's take a look at this LeBron situation. Well, come on, man. This is me you're talking to. I get it. That's a relationship. That conversation done happened at the poker table somewhere along the lines. Yeah. LeBron has openly said, hey, I would love to play with Steph Curry. Openly. So now you go and you say, we're not trying to trade him. Why don't you go ask <coughs> Rich Paul and LeBron if they wanted to be traded? Yes. Okay? Because we're not trying to trade him. Exactly. So if he is asking to be traded, maybe you get that from him. Okay. Now, <coughs> Like I said the other day, there are going to be many teams lined up for LeBron James if he opts out, whatever the case is, mm -hmm. because he can still play basketball at the highest level. Yep. Two to three years from now, maybe that's different. But as it, as it stands today, yep. you put the right pieces around him, you're going to win a championship. Mm -hmm. Most likely, you're in that running. So it makes all the sense in the world why the Golden State Warriors would kick the tires okay. to find out. Now, what are you giving up in return? What are you going to give up Kaminga? You're going to give up Clay on an expiring contract? Whatever else, you know, you want to give up Rich, uh, Chris Paul? Like, what are you giving up? Whatever first-round picks out to 2030 or whatever. Right. Not going to happen. Yeah. Because the Lakers still feel like they can contend yeah. mm -hmm. and compete with LeBron James and Anthony Davis on the floor. Yeah. But I'm not shocked or surprised at all. Mm. Yeah. Neither am I by Philadelphia in us wanting to move Joel Embiid or mm -hmm. take a stab at Joel Embiid. Yeah. Right. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> Why we I mean, lie. hey, do you want to trade for Giannis? Sure. sure. Let's take a look at that. Yeah. Do you want Luka? <laughs> sure, of course. But all of that conversations always come up during a trade deadline. But I think this one with the Lakers was a little more serious on the LeBron James side more so okay, than the Okay, so quick the Lakers point side. of order before you go. Are you at all surprised that if LeBron over a poker table had said, yeah, I'd love to play with Steph at some point, to Draymond, that he said no, to that he nixed the trade this time? Are you surprised he said, I'm staying in L.A.? Um, you can go back and forth with that one. Yeah. You, 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 your emotions take over at some point in time. In that conversation, look, man, conversations always come up. If I'm with Richard... And me and Richard are running to each other in Hawaii, and we're sitting down and talking. And I know that they can use me, and I know that the people that I'm with no, aren't I, I, doing what they're supposed to. Yeah. I said, Richard, man, I want to come to San Francisco. I want to come to Seattle with you, dog. You think you could just tell them? Okay, but some of that oh, is Richard. just talking, just like emotions. No, it's it's, over. it's it's serious yeah. too. Now we we had conversations like that with uh with Sue, with Megatron, mm. with all them dudes, yep. with Larry, and none of it was ever going to happen. But it was good conversation. It was okay. fun. And I don't think anything was going to hap happen here. Because, like I said, I mean, weeks ago on this show, Mount Rushmore guys do not get moved at the trade deadline in the National Basketball Association. Mount Rushmore guys, the, the, the LeBron James, the Kobe Bryant, but, the K Michael K Jordan. KD did <clears throat> last year. He got moved. What? what yeah. and, and which? Which is gonna 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 make him arguably not a Mount Rushmore guy? Because yeah. then you got Kareem. You got you got guys that do not get moved at the deadline. And so I hear you, but I didn't think he was going anywhere. He says I want to be a Laker, but being a Laker means something. And even if they were having these conversations, his team just went to the Western Conference Finals. So it's not like hey, the Lakers are coming off a really bad season. They were coming off a Western Conference Finals exit against the Denver Nuggets, it's not like the... the, the but it's, it's, not, it's not about, and I don't mean to cut you, but it's not about where they were coming from. They, they're in the middle of a power right. struggle right. with but, one another. But, but again, in, in terms of the Western Conference, the Warriors are just about where the Lakers are. It's not like, hey, they're, they're, 
they're like, oh, they're in a second seed. And it's like, LeBron, you come. Like, when KD came, they were yep. they were one of the best teams in the National Basketball Association. And it's like, KD, you got us over the top. Like, hey, we were already going to finals. We were already doing this. You, we just needed a little bit more. And KD came over there and gave it to them. They are 10th seed right now. I understand they're that. And so... I think it's so. He's going to play with Steph Curry this year in the Olympics. They're going to play together. They're going to play together. They're going to get to play with Steph Curry. Yeah, they ain't the same, though. 100%. He's going to get to play. They're going to go get a gold medal, take the U.S. back to where they need to be. But I don't think, because we talked about this yesterday with Bronny and, and if any of these teams, like, again, I don't think that it works with these teams. I, and, and we talked about it yesterday. So I just don't see him declining his option when he did all this to become a Laker. He loves living in L.A. He loves being in L.A. He's not going to play for the Clippers. He can always live in L.A. I know. He was living in L.A. when he was living in Cleveland. Right, but it, it, it's it, true. But you living in L.A. and living in Cleveland the whole NBA season and then going back to L.A. Right now, you live in L.A. year long. Yeah, your kids are here. Yeah, Bronny's yeah. at SC. Yeah. Like, it's easy to get everywhere. Clutch sports. I think they got an office here. It Again, it makes everything easy when you're here. And so I don't think LeBron James is going anywhere. But it's a power thing. Skip knows this. It's a power. It's a... Jeannie Buss getting control of her basketball operations again from Clutch and Rich Paul and them that had a little bit of a stranglehold on it in the past. Now it's flexing your muscles. LeBron is flexing his muscles to say, hey, if I really want to move, I'll move. Because here's my value, as you can see out in the universe. People are still trying to come and get me at 40 years old. Right. So I have value. So don't underestimate the influence and the power okay. that I have. Yeah, but right. uh, we can say the same thing about Anthony Davis. I guarantee you if they put Anthony Davis out there, you'd have Ooh. 10 teams calling saying, hey. We, yeah, but we it's not be, Anthony would, Davis ain't not LeBron James. James. I'm, not, I'm no. not saying he is, but I'm just saying in terms of the power and in terms of the, the teams wanting him, that's not really flexing anything. That's just saying, hey, you're yeah. a great player in the National Basketball Association. We honor that. I'm sure they're not, they're not discrediting that. Yeah, all right. I 1,000% agree with your point about Draymond and LeBron having had this conversation somewhere on some yacht, somewhere in the <laughs> offseason. Would you like, yeah, well, yeah. And, and, and it, it sounds good at the time, and, and your heart's in it at the time, and then all of a sudden push comes to shove. And Joe Lacob is actually saying, okay, I, I'll, I'll do it, Draymond. I, I'll, I'll try to go through Jeannie. Let's see what we can see. And Jeannie says, well, I don't want to trade him, but, but if LeBron wants to go, Jeannie has always been, hey, if you don't want to be a Laker, then I don't want you to be a Laker. Okay. So she would have tried to do everything in her power. And what do you always say about the National Basketball Association? When they want out, you, 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 you ultimately just have to finally cater to that and figure it out. What? See James Harden, see him quit his way out of all these Dillard, places. Uh, whatever, yeah. Dame Lillard, yeah, anybody. They all want okay. their way out, they out. All right, so it still came down to LeBron having the opportunity to go to Golden State and play with Steph and Dre and, for what it's worth, Clay, even though he may be nearing the end of his line. But there was a chance. He, he could have made this happen because he does hold all the power. Well, Clay would have been in the deal, though. Okay, well, maybe, but I don't know if it had just been draft choices, whatever. But the point is, Steph and Dre, for sure. And LeBron ultimately said no, because I believe two things were operating. Number one, his son does play at USC, and his son is everything to him. He is the sun and the moon to him, and which is why we keep talking about, well, if somebody drafts Bronny, will, will LeBron go wherever it is that he, it could be Sacramento, it could be anywhere, he just go wherever Bronny was. Bronny is down the street from it. It's not an easy street to, to navigate, but from Brentwood. What do you mean? It's easy. You get on Brentwood, the, it is you not get on easy. You the 10 East and you and, get and, on and, the 110. And every time and I get, get on the 10 East, it is a parking lot. Oh, God. It just is. It you is hard. You didn't even want to go pick your kids up from yeah. Oaks because the two I 200 cars. Yeah, the but that's different. That's high school. To get to USC is right down the street. It is not it's right down the street from Brentwood, California. It is, it, it's like an hour away. <laughs> okay, but whatever. They are in the vicinity of each other. And then it came down to the guy you just brought up. No, Anthony Davis in star power is not LeBron James, but he right now is more valuable as a basketball player than LeBron because since Lil Wayne called him out and said, I want him gone, he, he's playing, listen, I, to, to me, he's a top five player. On a nightly basis, when he is plugged in and motivated, 
he puts up numbers. I look at the box score and I say, you, you, that doesn't grow on palm trees out here, man. That, that is hard to find, what he can do right. on both ends of the floor. He dominates basketball games and it doesn't look like it. It's kind of subtle. It's, it's kind of like, it, it, it's like, is he really trying that hard? And then you look at the numbers. Yep, he did that. Right. They have won five out of six. They are starting to come back together. They added Dinwiddie, and I know it's not going to like change the world, but, but I liked him last night. He got a little run in the second half. He can play a little bit. Right. If they could ever get healthy with Gabe Vincent and Cam Reddish and Jared Vanderbilt, if you add them back into this rotation, mm -hmm. I like their chances a little better than I like Golden State's chances. The point being, LeBron knows they went head to head last year in the second round of the playoffs. Yep, I was there. And, and it was it was pretty easy for the Lakers. It was. Yeah, it, was that, it was a little it, easy. It, it, it was six games, but it didn't even feel that close but, to me, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's just saying, I like my chances with AD. I like being near Bronny. I like being in LA. He's the king of LA, man. He is he, right. he is Mr. Entertainment. You need I, to stay here. You I, need to be right here. No, he doesn't I, need I, to leave I, at all. No. I, I don't see I don't see the benefit. And I know we're talking about Bronny and all that. I think <clears throat> I, I just don't know how that's gonna play off play out. And I, I don't feel like speculating because we go down a rabbit hole. But <laughs> I just think everything's in LA. He's been in L.A. He's comfortable. Business seems better in L.A. Uh, clutch sports. He's He's got his hands on more things in he L.A. Does. Hey, he Rich does. Paul, you ain't got to go nowhere to go to my games. Go to my games. Go to the office. Bang and forth. And, you ain't and don't forget, Spring Hill Productions is right here. I mean, he's... Y'all are saying no. everything yeah. that's true. Right. But all that was here when he was in Cleveland. Right. And he was still here, and they were still here. Right, and they were... He was still... And, but it wasn't as easily accessible. You no, don't get no, to go... But this you house still, in Hills, But you still... Can do the same. I, I know, but Keyshawn, but, the, but the, the cherry on top is you get forty-one home games. You know, like you get L.A. I home understand. games. No, I understand uh, that, you get but to yeah. sleep in the bed. You yeah, but y'all keep forgetting. If it was gonna be Golden State, yeah. that's up the block. That's it, not it's far. Not bad. Yeah, but you, you're bad. still staying in some. You stand yeah. in some rented house, or you yeah. might buy a house, but it's not the one in Beverly Hills that you that you know is the one you want. No, I I, I, I understand. I just feel like in this situation, he wants to in in L.A. Try to probably get a statue. Book. Okay, so let me ask you this then. Why is the conversation even happening then? If, 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 why would Draymond take this conversation? Trade deadline was last Thursday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why would Draymond take this conversation last Thursday's trade deadline, a week prior to that, we get the emoji. We do. Or the same week, one of the two. Yeah, maybe it was, it was a week a few before. Days before, yeah. Why would we get all that? If there was no legs to it, why? Well, obviously, but, Draymond, Draymond thought there thought was. was yeah. And I'm not going... Skip. But if, if, if Skip. it had legs, LeBron doesn't say no. I'm just saying, no, at the no, end of the no, day, no, LeBron no. said no. He this still says like... no, because in the end, he may have made the decision after looking at certain things that this wasn't the best situation for him. I don't know who was in the trade. To trade LeBron James... You're, you, you're going to have to give up a lot. Now that team is stripped of whatever it had. Now you got yeah. rid of Wiggins, and you're going to have to get rid of Clay. You know, you start looking okay, at fair. the roster and saying, but think about this, Skip. You're smart. Why would he have this conversation right before the trade deadline with his owner, Draymond, if it wasn't a real conversation? If you told me, hey, Key, I think da 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 why don't you go kick the tires mm -hmm. on him? Are you sure? Yeah, okay, I want you to do that. And I go and kick the tires yep. off to somebody. Okay. I'm only doing it if you're telling me to do it. Right, but if you kick I'm not the gonna, tires I'm on I'm not going to go rogue and do it on my own. But no. if you kick the tires on it and you do all that and you go out of your way and my owner says, hey, I'm going to give it to Clutch Sports, who you made a great point, has a lot of power in this league. They control a lot of the, the, the moves. Yeah. And the Clutch Sports <laughs> goes to LeBron James uh -huh. and gives him... This is his alone decision. This isn't Jeannie Buss saying, hey, you can't go. We're going to stop this. We're going to veto this. This is LeBron James saying, nah, I'm good. I'm going to stay here. I don't know how you argue that. No, no, you're not. I'm not arguing that. What I am trying to say simple is, it was real. He wanted to move. I don't care what nobody says because Draymond Green is not going to go to his owners and have his owners go to the Lakers to ask questions about LeBron if that conversation never took place to give him 
the power to even have that conversation with his owner. Well, then it's going to feel they represent that way. It, they're represented by the same guy. Right. It's going to feel that way when the owner does everything, get, goes through all the hoops, and then gets to LeBron, yeah. and he says no. It's going to feel that way because he's going to yeah, be like, but, but, what, what, I just but when did you're what looking you at it, But when you're looking at it, those conversations is here are the type of players that we're going to have. Here's what we're going to have. Here's what it's going to look like. Here's the draft picks we got to give up. Do you still want to do this? We only got four guys left on the roster. We mm -hmm. don't have any draft picks in the future. Now you look at it as a smart person in a business decision with Rich and everybody, and they simply say, this is a better roster to stay with the Lakers because this one's going to be depleted. Then, now he says, OK, I'm good. I'm just going to stay in L.A. Then I'm, then I'm concerned about what you've been thinking about in the first place. Because what do you, you, do you not know you're LeBron James before the conversation start? Because LeBron James is going to take a lot for anybody to get. We're get oh, no, he knows he, no, he well, knows he's LeBron then, James. Then, then, then what are we having a conversation for? Because if you don't understand that they're going to have to send a lot to get mm -hmm. you, then what are we doing? Because okay. I, I, I don't think he wanted to go. I think Draymond was like, I'm going to convince you. I'm going to go set this up, and I'm going to figure no, out he ain't gonna, a he way ain't gonna, to get this no, done. No, no, no. He ain't going to do that. I, they, they're represented by the same guy. I, I would be with they're you. They're in the room together. Okay, wait a second. Are you suggesting, sort of between the lines, that this was all orchestrated by Rich Paul and Clutch through Draymond just to enhance... LeBron's leverage and power 1, and aura in a thousand percent. You do? One thousand okay. percent. That's why Jeannie said, deal with him. I don't want to do Go ask but, him. But it does, what does That's it why Jeannie threw it off on him. But okay. what does it change, though? It doesn't it, change anything. It changes a lot. How? It, it, because it doesn't, it doesn't change anything. The trade deadline is passed. Now you can't go anywhere. Well, that, that, that was before the trade deadline. Now, but no, that was can't. one day, 24 hours. One day before the trade deadline. So you had one day of power. I'm saying... It lets you know, because Jeannie Buss wants her power and her team back to be able to do what she wants to do. Before that, it was basically, to a degree, being run through Clutch, LeBron, and Rich Paul, which is fine. We won a championship. They can keep doing it if they can bring championships. Right. At some point, it got messy. Okay. It got she, messy over Westbrook because LeBron messy. said, I want Westbrook, yeah. and it turned into just a nightmare for everybody. Yeah, it yeah. got messy. And she said... Yeah. On record, I've got to take control she back. She did. She said it, not me. Yep. I feel you. And this is now them saying, we still got some power in this thing. Yeah, but 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 you've got power. Le LeBron James has power over LeBron James and will have power over LeBron James till, till the end of his career. That's going to be regardless. He could play for any franchise. And if he wants to go somewhere else... He gets to make that decision. Yeah. But that, I, don't, I don't know if this is a power trip. I really don't understand the move. I think this has no, to be just more of Draymond because no, it's it's not saying, Drake. I think we can make it's this happen, Drake. and him just going to the 11th hour and trying to convince LeBron, like, man, this would be the right move, because I just don't see why he would say no at the end. If, you, if I told you to go do this and go run and, and Again, and, and again do this, Richard, why, why would no? LeBron sign off on somebody going to talk to their owners about acquiring him. Right. I, You're not I, just going to do that. I don't think he did. I think Draymond was like, hey. So I, you LeBron, think Draymond just went rogue? No, I think Le Draymond was like, LeBron was like, man, I don't know. I, 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 like, in the middle, like, he's kind of wavering. And then Draymond's like, bro, I got it. Watch this. Watch this. I bet you I can get it. Like, it's going to work out. It's going to work out. Some dudes do that. And Draymond's a dude. He probably got excitable and was like, man, the trade deadline's coming up. This might be our last Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think Rich Paul would allow Draymond to just go using their names to the owner if a deal wasn't trying to be put in place. Uh, all right, so both of you grew up Laker fans here in Los Angeles. Right now, from what you've seen here recently from your team, as it is, LeBron is here to stay for the rest of this year for sure. If I ask you scale of one to 10 to tell me how much you believe in this team as a true championship contender, you would tell me what? One to 10, your faith in it. Probably a seven still. Okay, well, that's fairly high. Would you be up in the range? That's six and a half. Six, six and, and a half. half uh, well, just because it's the same thing LeBron said. Any given night, they could beat anybody. Yeah. And they could lose to anybody. Which that's is why. why last night was interesting to me because last night was lose to anybody because that was the worst team yeah, in the NBA. Lost, if they'd have lost it, to Then you'd say, okay, gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. But they didn't. They took care of business and yeah. they asserted themselves. They won five quickly. of the last six. Yeah. They won five of the last yeah, six. And so what broke my heart early in the season was when it was a it was a back to back versus the Spurs. Mm -hmm. It was a back to back. We had them back to back. And the Spurs were on like that 20 game losing streak, something crazy losing streak. And they ended it against our Lakers.
Yeah. <laughs> it was like, in the second of the back-to-back back at San Antonio. Okay. And I'm like, how, how are we losing to the San Antonio hey, There were four or five of those where I said, I don't get that. And then there were four or five where I said, look at that. LeBron and yeah. AD don't play against Boston, and we win. Like, I, I didn't understand that. I, I, yeah. I, things like that and just then, make and me... And we won by a lot, I think. Right. Against Boston, right? right. At least, I think, eight. Yeah. Six or eight. And you turned right around and won at the Knicks. And it just looks... And by the way, the other night, you scored 87 in the first half. 87? I, I saw some firepower. I, I think this team could be pretty... Uh, my my confidence is at an eight on this team. I think it's pretty good. Okay, it's good. I think it's got a shot. LeBron is here to stay. All right, let's get back to what happened. Fallout oh. for the 49ers. Oh. It seems to be falling apart at this point. But Kyle Shanahan tried yesterday to explain his overtime approach, as Keyshawn said. You I, did it. I'm not sure <laughs> what it was. We'll talk about it. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.